This video is all about coning up and down. We have already dry tapped to center and at this point it is really important to establish the boss hand. I'm a right hander, my wheel is spinning counterclockwise. So that means my left hand is the boss during coning up and down, don't forget that. That means that this elbow is gonna be anchored in my hip socket. So you gotta scoot up close enough so you can be anchored in your hip socket while allowing the whole meat of your hand up to the palm to be on the bat and leaning against the clay. Because if you can see, just by leaning forward, it pushes from my hip socket into my forearm right into the clay. That means it's the boss. I don't have to worry about wiggles because I am anchored against myself. Now is also when I can use plenty of water. I, in fact, love to keep a wet sponge in my right hand. So my boss hand for coning up and down, you always wanna start and end at your bat, unless you wanna start with a slight cone down just to make sure your clay's stuck on there or just to adhere and make sure your clay's not gonna be ripped off when you cone up. So coning up, now that we know it's stuck on there for good, left hand's the boss. My palm is against the bat at a diagonal. I'm trying to create a cone. While the left hand and the boss is preventing any wobbles from happening, my right hand is gonna hold a sponge between my fingertips so that as I need water, it's just sending out that water and preventing any sticks from happening. Meanwhile, because this assistant hand has no leverage and no anchorage, it latches on. This thumb is gonna latch on behind my boss thumb so I can grab on and stabilize my whole hand and they can work together to squeeze that clay all the way to the top. And when I get to the top, I want to allow the wheel time to rotate, 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 and then slow release. To cone down, left hand still the boss. That means it's anchored in my hip socket. It's leaning at a diagonal against the tip of the clay. The right hand is the assistant. It's gonna hold a wet sponge. I'm gonna hug my boss thumb so I'm anchored together. I'm gonna squeeze water as I need it and the right hand is gonna karate chop the center of the clay. So I'm gonna hug the thumb, squeezing the clay. Right hand is karate chopping down and here's the key. We're coning up and down. We're trying to create a cone. If I were to stop there, I have a flat tip. To create the cone, I have to drop my right hand. I like to think of it as dropping it like a prayer hand. Left hand's the boss, right hand's holding on. I'm dropping that palm into a prayer hand position all the way to the bat. And then rotate, 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 slow release. Sometimes that could be uncomfortable to achieve that little cone. Again, the cone up, you're squeezing from the bottom, fingertip, palm. I'm latched on to this, to this anchored hand. My boss hand's anchored, my right hand's the assistant latching on. I'm squeezing that clay. And another way to cone down, when you get to the top, let it rotate, rotate, rotate. Clean out my sponge, load it up, hug my thumb, squeeze that water, pushing down. And sometimes as I approach the wheel, what I'll do is reposition my assistant hand, get that wet sponge in between my fingers, latch onto my anchored boss hand, which is pushing into that clay, and just take my fingertips and apply pressure from the top all the way down to the bottom. And that again will recreate that cone, which is what we must have in order to cone up and down. Stay tuned for the next video. I'll show you some tips and tricks on some problems I see while coning.